Imagine you are relaxing at the beach with your family when you decide to reapply your sunscreen before taking a swim in the ocean to cool off. As the waves continuously crash against your skin, some of the recently applied sunscreen enters into the surrounding water. Although you are trying to protect your skin against UV rays, the chemicals inside the sunscreen you're wearing negatively impact ocean ecosystems, more specifically coral reefs. The National History Museum defines coral reefs as colonies of hundreds to thousands of tiny individual corals called polyps. In May of 2022, a study conducted by Stanford University researchers concluded that nearly 6,000 tons of sunscreen enter the oceans annually, contributing to the rapid decline of coral reefs. I learned about the decline of coral reefs during my recent biology courses in the past year and find it relevant since more people swim in the ocean during the warmer summer months, which we are now in. Today I will discuss the effects of sunscreen on coral reefs and the actions that have been taken to conserve the ones that are still alive. First, let's begin with explaining one impact of sunscreen in seawater, which is coral bleaching. The National Ocean Service describes coral bleaching as coral reefs completely turning white under stress conditions such as temperature, light, or nutrients. The lack of color causes the reefs to be more susceptible to diseases, which increases the likelihood of death. In National Geographic's June 2023 issue, the authors explain that oxybenzone, a chemical contained within most of the leading brands of sunscreen, can be absorbed by the reefs and directly contributes to the bleaching. The bleached reefs destroy habitats for various sea creatures, leaving the organisms vulnerable and without shelter, which also contributes to the decline of those sea creatures that use the reefs for their habitat. Coral reefs may revive themselves after the bleaching occurs, however, this event is extremely rare. This is an increasing issue as the United Nations Environment Program reports 14% of coral reefs have been lost within the most recent decade. This demonstrates the importance of keeping such toxins out of the ocean. Although coral reefs have been on the steady decline, Different measures have been taken to protect the reefs that are still alive today. Author Margaret Osborne explains in the May 2022 issue of the Smithsonian Magazine that Hawaii was the first state to ban products containing the reef-killing chemical oxybenzone. Therefore, such products cannot be sold in the state of Hawaii. Other nations have followed Hawaii in banning products that contain oxybenzone in an attempt to lower the annual amount of sunscreen leaking into the oceans. Osborne also mentions that scientists are working on alternative sunscreen options that are safe for both human skin and ecosystems within the ocean. In conclusion, coral reefs are an essential part of sea life that have been declining over the recent decades. So before jumping in to the ocean to cool off, take the time to read your bottle of sunscreen to ensure it contains reef safe ingredients so that we can preserve the reefs that are still existing today.